Hello, friends. Welcome to an episode of Isolate the Variable. Okay, friends. So, this week in science, we started our brand new unit on sound. And sound is just one type of energy. We're wondering, how does sound energy affect matter? We started answering this question by observing salt on top of Miss Cat's model eardrum. To make your own model eardrum at home, all you need is a container with a circle top, so maybe a bowl or a cup or a can. Then you are going to stretch a thin piece of material over. That's going to represent our tympanic membrane or our eardrum, that thin layer of skin inside our ears. You can use plastic wrap just like I did. Aluminum foil also works. I secured mine with a rubber band, and then I have matter, salt, because it has mass and takes up space, that I am going to put on top of my model eardrum, and then we can see the ways that sound energy affects matter. What do you think is going to happen? Is it going to change color? Is it going to explode? Is it going to start dancing? I don't know, I think it's time to isolate. Okay, so we're learning that when scientists set up their fair tests, they carefully consider the variable and the constants. The variable is the one thing that changes during the experiment. The constants are everything else that stays exactly the same. Let's see who's first up to bat in this episode of Isolate That Variable. to look at how sound energy affects matter, the first variable I'm going to isolate is distance. That means I change my distance from the experiment setup. But I make sure to keep my pitch, my volume, and the actual matter that I'm moving exactly the same. Let's see what happens. decided that the variable I'm curious about is pitch. That means how high or how low my voice is. I'm going to only vary pitch. That means my constants are my distance from the matter, the actual matter itself, and the volume of my voice. How loud or my voice is. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the next variable I want to isolate is the mass of the matter itself. Salt has very little mass. Let's look at how that moves again. Now let's compare that with rice, which has more mass than salt. Whether your constants are volume, pitch, matter, or distance, volume, pitch, or distance, volume, matter, or pitch, distance, matter, congratulations, you've just designed a fair test. I hope that you have fun with these optional extensions this week, and then be ready to share what you've discovered at the beginning of class next Tuesday. Okay, fourth grade, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.